Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I preserve my silk press for a whole month. Tomorrow will make exactly one month since I got my silk press. And right here is just how my hair looks after a full day of shooting content, taking pictures. It's like 9 p.m. right now. And as you can see, my curls are still intact. And honestly, I would hold on to it even longer, but it's itchy and I definitely need to wash it. So for my night routine, and I do this literally every single night for the past month, all I do is split my hair into four sections. Y'all already know what it is. I always divide my hair into four sections. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start to finger comb my hair upwards. So when I pin curl my hair, I like to hold it straight up. Like I hold the hair upwards and then I just wrap it around my finger using my little my scissors my rock paper scissor hands i curl that over my finger and then i just begin to roll my hair towards my roots and then i flip that pin curl to the top of my head and pin it in place and do not worry y'all already know i got y'all with the slow-mo just keep watching so again i like to grab the section comb it upwards using my fingers. I have not been using a comb. Literally, I have not touched a single comb this entire month. And I definitely think that contributed to me maintaining my silk press this long, just because I haven't been over manipulating it. I've only been using my fingers. And you can see here that as I'm combing my hair, I'm kind of putting a flick in my wrist and I'm combing in the direction of my curls. You never wanna comb against your curls. So the curls are going away from my face and that's the way I'm combing my hair. And for the pin curl, I hold my hair upwards. I use my little rock, paper, scissors. I clamp the hair. I flip the ends over that first finger. And then I just take the hair and I start to roll it towards the root. And once I get to the root, I flip the hair. Well, I flip the curl so that it's on top of my head and then I pin it in place. Now let's really break it down. So I'm taking my, my scissor hands, clamping the hair. I'm gonna go to the end, flip the ends over my index finger, just like that. Just take the hair, flip it right over. Then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna hook it onto the hair. So I'm grabbing all of the hair right now from underneath I'm hooking it on, so now the hair is kind of creating a loop around my index finger. Now, you're just gonna roll that hair upwards, and as I roll, just to make sure I have a tight curl, you see I'm clamping my finger every time I roll. I'm not keeping my fingers straight out. I'm clamping the hair, making sure I have a good hold on it, all the way up to the root. And then all you're gonna do is flip your hand. You should not be letting go of the hair. Hold on to it just the way you are. Flip it upwards, just like that, on top of my head. And again, because my curls are going in the direction away from my face, that's the same way that I'm flipping that pin curl. I'm flipping it away from my face. I'm doing the same exact thing to all four sections. So grab your section, Finger comb it upwards, comb your ends in the direction of your curls, hold the hair up, use your scissor hands, flip it around your index finger, hook the hair, roll, 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 all the way up to the root, flip the hair, flip the pin curl on top of your head and pin it in place. Now, I usually wear a bonnet to sleep at night, but with my pin curls, 
I like to keep them really tied down. And you guys know with a bonnet, your hair is still kind of loose. You have some room in your bonnet for your hair to move around. And that's what I don't want with my pin curls. I want them to stay put. I don't need them moving around and all of that. So for my pin curls in particular, I always like to wear a do-rag or if you want to wear a silk scarf. But anything that will pretty much keep it tied down and not give you any space in your bonnet. And then I like to use my spa headband to make sure that I'm protecting my edges. And now, if y'all saw my skincare video, you already know what this is. But like I said, it's a facial headband that I use to protect my edges from getting wet. And now I'm gonna hop in the shower. And of course I'm putting my shower cap on. I can't believe I almost forgot that. In between my do-rag, my spa headband, and my shower cap, my ends, my edges, the nape of my neck, everything is completely protected. As you see here, even with me washing my face, everything is nice and secure and tucked away. Now this headband is the reason why I've been able to wash my face, shower for the past month, and not one single strand of my edges have curled up. Now, once I get out the shower and I take my shower cap off, I take the headband off, you can see that my edges are still smooth as fuck. Like, no curlies, no nothing. You don't see no reverting. So, shout outs to this facial headband. Now, the next morning, when I take my hair down, because of course, y'all know I gotta show y'all what it looks like the next morning, just so we know that this method works. Do y'all see this curl? Like, Good is new, honestly, my hair feels just as good as the first day I got it. It hasn't frizzed up, not one bit. My curls are still intact, they still got some bounce. Look at that curl, look at that. Good is new. And then again, I just finger comb my hair. No combs, no brushes, no paddle brushes, no nothing. I just take my fingers, comb through my hair. And now I'm just gonna show y'all a few ways I like to wear it. So I either keep it just like this and I kind of coil both sides. Put it behind my ear. I love a good tuck behind the ear look. So this is one way. Another way that I like to do it is I'll just comb the ends out and kind of just like zhuzh it up and make it look fuller on the bottom, which I also like. I like this too. Another way I like to wear it is just flipping it over to the side real quick. Once again, no combs, just a quick flip over to the side. Real, real cute. Who doesn't like a side part? I also like to flip this in a high ponytail. I've been loving the high ponytail and the length that my hair is now, it kind of gives me like that cash doll ponytail length. I love it, I think it's so cute. And the last and final, my favorite look is when I take it out of the high ponytail and I just have this like tussled, effortless, straight out the bed, shake and go kind of hair. I love this look. And that's about it, dolls. Oh, another way, sometimes I like to just um, kind of comb it all to the back and have it completely off my shoulders, just have it going down my back. And that's a, that's a cute little look too. That's a vibe too. I hope you dolls enjoyed it. More importantly, I hope y'all learned something. But thank you dolls so much for watching. Y'all are the best. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.